Hi, I'm Nolan Haynes from Nolan Haynes Creative, and uh, yesterday we lost a, a pretty big figure in the world of data visualization. Hans Rosling was a, a statistician, a, a doctor, and a, a very large TED Talk personality. Uh, he was probably most famous for a lot of his, uh, his TED Talks and other online videos, and for his Trendalyzer software, which you can see a little bit of here. And that software that, that he designed allowed you to view you know, very large data sets over periods of time and to see how that data visually grew and shrank and moved. And, and uh, it, it was a very cool dynamic tool. Um, here he's showing off uh, one of the, the coolest features of bubble charts of how those grow and expand over time as you go through the years. Now, uh, the software is very, very cool. It's, um, you know, it's very powerful. But you can do something similar right within PowerPoint. Uh, using uh, the very, the fairly new uh, morph transition. Now, I've applied the morph transition to the next few slides. So this is just a, a bubble chart with some dummy data I've put in. Now, if you go from slide to slide currently using the morph transition, you, all you're getting are these, uh, you know, fades, which are okay, but you're not really seeing the morphing of these circles, you know, growing and shrinking and moving, and the reason is currently Morph doesn't support live charts in this way. Uh, my hope is that this, uh, <laughs> this, uh, this video will be outdated soon in a moot point once they add support for it, but currently you need to uh, uh, do a couple hacks in order to get this working. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take our live bubble chart and we're going to break it apart, we're going to convert it into shapes. Now before we do this, you want to make sure that your bubbles are filled solidly. The default uh, is these transparent circles, which, which are cool, which look good, but they're not going to work for our purposes. If you try to break apart a chart with transparent shapes, you get some really ugly um, squares and things, and it's just not what you want. So we've just made them a solid dark blue, and I've done that in advance for the, for the next few charts. So what we're going to do is we're going to control X. We're going to cut this. Um, if you want to save a copy, you can just control C and move it off to the pasteboard. But uh, we're going to, so we've cut it, and now we're going to paste it again. We're going to paste special. And we're going to paste it as an enhanced meta file. Now, for some reason, it shrinks it, but it's going to do that for all of them, so no worries here. Uh, it, shrink, it, it converts it to a, an EMF, but we're not done yet. We, what we need to do now is ungroup it. So go to Group, Ungroup, and it's going to give you a warning. Just hit Yes. And you're going to want to do this, believe it or not, again for some bizarre reason. So you ungroup it again. Now you have that bubble chart is nothing but shapes. It's circles. It's lines. It's, it's just individual shapes, and that's something Morph is going to be able to understand. So we're going to go to our, our next, um, next li live chart. Again, save this on the pasteboard if you ever need or ever going to need to edit this data and redo this, because this is a one-way street that we're, we're doing now. So Control-X. I'm going to use the keyboard short, uh, shortcut here, Control-Alt-V. That's Enhanced Meta File. There we go. That brings up Paste Special, Enhanced Meta File. Control-Shift-G is ungroup. Yes, Control-Shift-G again. And just we're going to go to the next slide and just do this again. Control-X, Control-Alt-V, Enhanced Meta File. Control Shift G, yes. And one last one. And Control Shift G, yes. Control Shift G, perfect. Now you can continue styling these if you want. It actually gives you these sort of black borders. I'm not going to do that now, but you can continue styling all these. Obviously, you just want to keep everything in the same sort of um, general placement so all everything lines up but now if we go into slideshow mode and we the uh, the morph transitions have been applied already and now we hit advanced our bubbles are morphing powerpoint's doing all the work for us uh, from slide to slide and that was um, that was kind of quick so if i you know if we want to go to transitions and maybe i don't know maybe put this up to 5 seconds as a trial so if we go back here, and now we have five-second morph transitions, which are probably a little cooler. These are these are definitely a little more um, Hans Rosling-like, um, and you can talk over this. You can, of course, add labels and do any other you know things you want because these are individual slides that um, that morph is interpolating uh, the animation between. 
So that is uh, how to be Hans Rosling by, uh, on your own, on your desktop, using nothing but PowerPoint and, uh, and the Morph Transition and a couple of hacks. Um, again, um, I'm Nolan from Nolan Haynes Creative. Uh, take a look at our website. Take a look at our blog, presentyourstory.com, for data visualization and presentation goodies. Um, follow me on Twitter. And um, every, every two weeks, we do the presentation podcast. So um, swing on by in iTunes and subscribe there. And I uh, hope this was helpful.